Alright, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss further into the discovery project section, which I went over um, in my last video, and now go over further into patterns into integrals and go over question two. And now, to, uh, before I get to it, I just want to quickly recap on a discovery project. It's just a section in my calculus book called Discovery Project, which explores specific topics in greater detail. And in this patterns and integrals uh, section, we will be using a computer algebra system or CAS to investigate indefinite integrals of families of functions and then using the patterns or finding patterns in those integrals to basically uh, first guess what the general formula is and then later prove it uh, yeah, prove it by hand and basically this is to show how just the fact that you can solve integrals using computers you can derive the formulas, or general formulas for entire families of uh, integrals. So question two, uh, the part A states, use a computer algebra system to evaluate the following integrals. Uh, part I, sine x cos 2x, and this one integral of sine 3x, cos 7x dx, right there. This one, sine 8x cos 3x dx. So basically, uh, we're gonna. These are all the same, uh, similar uh, types of integrals, and we're gonna use the pattern in part A to guess the value of uh, this integral sine ax cos bx dx, and then part C we're gonna check our guess with a cast, then prove it using the technique shown in my earlier trig integrals video series, and also uh, find out which values um, of a and b is this equation valid. So let's go uh, to part A and, and solve these uh, using a cast. So pull out a browser. You can just Google integral calculator and you'll see there's a bunch of these that all use um, online cast to solve them. So let's pull, uh, click this first one, type this out, sine x cos 2x, and that's our equation, press go. And what we get is over here, there's our cos uh, x over 2 minus cos 3x over 6 plus c. Do these for the other two, we get here 7, and there's a 3 right there. This equals 2 right here, cos 4x divided by 8 minus cos 10x minus 20. And then the last one, 3. Eight. I'll copy these into my notes soon and go over a pattern of them. So we get this negative cos 11x uh, 22 co and the minus cos 5x over 10 right there. So yeah, here I've copied and pasted all of these answers and um, basically I'll put this here. So this is part A, this is uh, question I, the, or part I, this is part I, I, and part I, I. I right here and basically here's I just copied basically those exact answers so now let's look at well part B which is because we've done part A part B is used based on the pattern of the answers above guess the value of the integral this right here so we need to guess sine ax cos bx in general dx right there so let's see what we could uh, come up with Okay, let's look at this uh, first one right here. So notice that the answer in this case, they're all cos. So there's a cosine, there's a cosine, there's a cosine, and there's a negative in front of all of them on the second part, except this one has one as well in the front of it. And also another thing to note is that um, if you look at this x and 2x, the difference is 1x, and that's this 1x, and the addition is 3x, that's 3x. Same thing here, 7 minus 3 is 4, and then 7 plus 3 is 10. Same thing here, this is a 3 plus 8 is 11, 8 minus 3 is 5, so we're finding out a pattern here. And also the bottom here is the multiplication by 2, 3 times 2 is 6, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 2 is 8, etc. So we could start to see a pattern. So in this case right here, let's say uh, the integral of this would equal 2, based on this pattern, equals to integral, I mean, and equals to 1 over 2. This is, a, this is a difference now. 
you guys have noticed that they're all whatever this is minus uh, I mean multiplied by 2 so we'll go with well 2 minus 1 then cosine well 2 minus 1 x minus 1 over 2 2 plus 1 times by cos 2 plus 1 x plus c so that is one guess we're doing and if this was let's say a uh, ax in front this is bx then this guess would be well this would because uh, it, this is all exactly this part so this would be if we were guessing 1 over 2 this is b minus a cos b minus a x minus 1 over 2 and this is b minus b plus a and cosine this is b plus a x plus c so that's what one guess we can have let's see if it holds up for this part right here so if we apply that for this case of this integral dx equals 2 let's apply this 1 over 2 this is this is b now that's our a so b minus a is 7 minus 3 which is 4 then cosine 4x so there you go that's correct minus cosine actually 1 over 2 times it by now the addition um, 7 plus 3 is 10 times it by um, the addition there cos 10x and then well plus c so this is correct so so far this is correct and now the last part see if it holds up for this this is the interesting one it has a negative in front dx so if this would equal 2 well uh, applying that same thing 1 over 2 and then this is our new a this is our new b the 8 so 8 minus 3 this is going to be cos, well, 5x. That's just going to be 8 minus 3 is, is 5x. Minus now 1 over, well, actually, actually, I made a mistake right here. Notice here, this is sine and then cos. So this is, uh, this yeah, that got switched around in the cast. So that's important to note. I'll erase this right here. That's actually pretty interesting so now this is our b this is our a so this equals 2 1 over 2 b minus a which is now well this part right here 3 minus 8 now that's that's a change cos now 3 minus 8 is negative 4x so now that's uh, different from I mean negative 5x not 5 yeah 3 minus 8 is 5 so as you can see, that's different from this part. And then we have a minus 1 over 2, and I'll get to why it doesn't matter if it's negative or not. This is going to be now our addition. So b plus uh, a, so 3 plus 8 is going to be 11. Cos 11x plus c. So now if we will simplify this part right here, we get... 1 over, well, this is uh, 3 minus, uh, that's going to be negative 5, so this is negative 10. And then this part right here, this cos negative 5, you have to recall in my earlier video, I showed the identity cos of negative x equals to cos of positive x. It doesn't matter because, well, the uh, graph of cosine is symmetric. So this is x. This is why it looks something like this, where this is cos of x. So it doesn't matter if it's negative, I mean positive x, or negative x right here. These are equal, and that's the case. So if that's equal, then we could just write this as cos 5x minus 1 over 2. <clears throat> now this is going to be, well, 11 times, that's 22 cos 11x plus c. So, and this is exactly it. So, these are all correct.
So that means we could guess that in this case it's going to be well one over you know, one over two times a minus b cosine of well a minus b x plus I mean not plus minus uh, now we have it as one over two a plus b actually whoops in our case we had uh, we were using b minus a. So we have b minus a, then we have it as right here b plus a, just to make it all look the uh, same as what we were working with, b plus a x plus c. So that's what our guess is going to be. Let's see if this holds up. So let's guess what it is, well let's find out what it would be using the cas. Try to be there, that's part c which asks us to do this. So we get sine ax cos b of the integral is equal to well this function. It looks a bit different than ours. And here if I copy and paste it, we get this right here, where as you can see there's a negative. Uh, this this left side here is actually our right side. That's exactly one over two b plus a b plus a. But now there's a this one's on this side right here. Notice here there is an a minus b and there's a negative sign and we could easily do that with ours we could just quickly let's say put a negative sign right here and then f uh, flip these around into a minus b and this because the identity doesn't doesn't matter what it is it could be a minus b and there's the exact same answer right there so now let's look at the last part of the question which is well Prove it using techniques shown in my trig integrals video series and for what values of a and b is it valid? So let's look at the proof. Okay, so we have this integral sine ax cos bx dx. So again, we have to recall the trig identity. That's for what I showed in my last in my earlier video. So basically, the trig identity is sine a cos b is equal to uh, 1 over 2 cos so it's not not cos I mean sine so this equals to 1 over 1 half sine a minus b plus sine a plus b so this is the trig identity you can see proof for that in the video link below so plugging this into it we get uh, this well sine ax cos bx e dx equals to well one half integral now sine of of right here ax minus bx that's our new a x minus bx that's our new a and that's our new capital B and then uh, plus right here sine of ax plus bx dx right here and this one we could easily take the integral of this because well you could e easily factor out the x so this equals to one half integral of sine is just going to be well cosine and then there's an a minus b right there actually there's and there's a negative there so there's negative cos and since we have this inside always always account for the chain rule factor so divided by one minus b and then this this part here is going to be the exact same thing. Multiply this 1 over 2 inside. 1 over 2, and now the factoring out a plus b. Right there, and there's a negative cosine of a plus b, x, and then plus constant c. And as you see, this is exactly the same answer that the this uh, cas got, and rearranging the one we guess is exact same thing and there's the proof of it and then the last part for what values it's not uh, applicable well in this case uh, this is for a is not equal to b and the reason for that is because you get well this one over one minus b which is a one over zero this is not defined it goes to infinity there so not defined there we can't just plug that into it. 
So that's where it's not valid for it. Valid for everything but this. Anyways, it's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this uh, pretty intensive video on showing how to use cast to determine uh, the patterns and and also using triggered entities to move things around, etc. Anyways, it's all for today. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.